Hello friends, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. In this uh, video, we'll be treating the area and the perimeter of a segment. We started the menstruation one. This is the second episode. So if you have a circle, then the center. If I have this and this, let's say I have this. We say a segment is area bounded by a chord and an arc. So this region is what we are looking for. That is a segment. All right. Now, in drawing this, we know this is the radius. This will be radius as well. And the two radius will bound means incline an angle at the center. All right. We said first, finding the area, meaning we are looking for the space that this Occupy. If you look at this carefully, if I clean around, you can see this diagram. If I clean the major arc, you will see this diagram. Just like the one we are seeing here, where this is the radius, radius. Now, if I clean here, you will be left with only the segment. So, this is what you are looking for the area of this. And you can see that this diagram does not represent any known shape. Maybe you are thinking of a semicircle, yes? It looks like a semicircle, but it is coming from here. So it is smaller than a semicircle. This is smaller than what? A semicircle. So we need to be able to find this area. We need to know that we don't have a known shape. So I can only manipulate this since I know that this is a sector. And I know the area of a sector. So if I find the area of a sector, which is the whole thing. Then, I first of all find the area of what? The triangle. Then, you can see that this is what we are going to get. The whole sector is divided into a triangle and a segment. The triangle plus the segment give us the sector. So it means if I know the sector and I subtract the triangle, I should be left with this. What I mean is that if this is C, B, A. A plus B. That is the two uh, shapes. If I add the area of the two, I should be getting what? C. That simply means that if I know the C, I can find the A by saying A equals to C minus B. So first thing first, to find the area of a segment, one, find area of the sector the sector a o b you find the area then two find what the area of the triangle and this triangle is going to be an isosceles because this is going to be radius radius then since i know the two the three our area of segment is going to be the area of the sector. So area of sector minus area of fold triangle. So if I subtract the area of a triangle from that of the sector, I should be getting the area of the segment. So in a broader sense, area Is going to be first of all area of a sector which is what theta over 360 times 2 pi pi r square minus the area of the triangle and i said earlier on that this is an isosceles triangle every isosceles triangle provide an angle inclined at the top like this if you are asked to find this if this is a b if the two sides incline to produce the angle, the area is given as half the sum, the product of the side AB sine theta. That is if you are asked to find the area of uh, an isosceles triangle. In one of my videos, I explain how to find the area of an isosceles scaling uh, and that of equilateral. Even though we know the area of a triangle is half based on height. 
this is what an equilateral how do you call it an isosceles triangle so an isosceles triangle also have a formula even though we can divide this to form a right angle triangle so you are going to use this half based and height half based and height whereby the angle will be divided into two that will be finding the two triangle multiplied by two but directly we can use this so this is going to be half a b don't forget the a b the a is r and the r so i'm going to have r square sine what theta i don't know if you get the concept a b this is the two sides are equal the radius and the radius are the same so this is the a this is the b so the product of radius will be r square then the sine theta will follow all right then to find the perimeter don't forget you are looking for the length of the chord so perimeter equals to length of chord plus length of arc so these are the two formulas that will be used under this topic let's take a question to see how we can put them into use so find the area of the segment of a circle which had the center angle of 120 and a radius of 7 cm the angles to be the nearest word word number so let's draw our circle this is 7 cm the angle is what 120 then we can have this sector so the first thing to do is to find the area of the whole sector the area of the sector is going to be 3 theta over 360 times what pi r square where the theta has been given to us 120 the pi we already know as 22 over 7 then the radius is 7 square it could be 7 times 7 so we know this will cancel 12 will go here 1 will go here what 3 7 will cancel the square so we will be left with only 22 times 7 over what? 3. As in, there is nothing here apart from 1. 22, 7, 3, 1. So this is what we'll get. And that will be 51.33 centimeter area of a sector. So centimeter squared. That's the first aspect. Second will be area of the triangle. So fast forward one over two r, which is now what seven times what seven. Then we are multiplying by what sine one twenty degrees. So from here we are going to multiply this by this to get forty nine divided by what two. Then multiply by sine. 120 which is 0 0.8660 0. so 49 times this divided by this will give us 21.22 area so centimeter squared so we are not done this is just the area of the sector area of the triangle we are looking for area of what segment so what do we do? Area of segment is going to be area of sector minus area of what? Triangle. Which in this case is going to be 51.33 minus 21.22 all in centimeter. 
So that will produce 30.11 centimeter squared. But what are we asked to find? Our answer should be in what? The nearest whole number. So this will move to 30 centimeter squared. So this is the answer for the area of the sector. Sorry, the area of the segment, which is first find the area of the sector, area of triangle, perform subtraction, then voila. There you are with your answer. I believe you have grabbed the concept. If you do, don't forget to share with your learning mate. Uh, leave a comment, like the video, and God will bless you. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.